everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am over the moon today. I'm so happy because I've been trying to film this video all week. I basically did it in like a vlog style where I vlogged a bit every day, but it's been so hot that I got myself into a right kerfuffle. I ended up filming in my dad's office because there was aircon and the video was just going so badly. I'm hiding in the aircon room again because it's so hot. I just, I can't, but today, like some kind of miracle, the temperature has dropped from like 32 to 20 and it's incredible. So I'm refilming this video because really, it, it really was really bad. So let's start again and today's video is going to be a pack with me for Ibiza style video. I'm going to Ibiza for three days. I said some, maybe like four days with Nas. I'm so excited. I got invited to go for a launch of a new product of theirs and I got a plus one. So I'm taking Rich and that never ever happens. And it's just so nice because obviously I want to spend as much time as possible with him. We never really get to go on holiday together. So that's really nice. And Anna and Mark are going to be there as well. So there's just like so many good things about this trip. I really, really can't wait. I've been to Ibiza once before in like 2009. So before I even started blogging. So I'm excited to go back and I will be vlogging the trip for you guys. So that'll be next week's video if you want to watch that. But today I thought I would show you my kind of packing process. I'm quite organised in how I pack in that I start quite early. I'm definitely not the sort of person that packs the night before a trip. That would completely stress me out. But I do also have the tendency to overpack, so I'm not like the most minimalist packer ever. So I thought I would just show you what I'm packing in my suitcase, what I'm taking with me, and maybe in the vlog whilst I'm there, I'll show you the outfits put together in like a what I wore in Ibiza style vlog, maybe, if that's what you want to see. So my suitcase is behind me. This is a Samsonite suitcase. I think we got this for our wedding, and it's the best suitcase um, in terms of like a big suitcase. I love the away ones as well. Um, but this one just weighs nothing. It's so lightweight, which means that you can really pack it full because my like old Muji suitcase, it weighed like five kg before you put anything even in it. And some airlines like EasyJet, you're only allowed to take 20. So it doesn't really leave you with much. So this is expensive, but it's so worth it because it just is so lightweight. So the first thing I do is write myself a packing list. I don't have like a pre-written one on my computer because I think it changes per trip. And I have like a real system of how I do this. So I handwrite it and I give myself little tick boxes and then I put it in sections. So I've got like miscellaneous, tech, outfits, shoes, beauty, and then I've got a little like to buy section as well of things that I need to go out and buy before the trip. And I don't do it um, like dresses, tops, shorts, because I just know that I'll end up overpacking because I'll just put in loads of dresses and loads of tops and loads of shorts. So I plan in outfits. If it's a trip like this where it's a work trip, I have a think about what I'm going to wear for each like activity because we get sent an itinerary before we go. If this was just a holiday, I would just probably take some denim shorts and some tops and bikinis and I just wouldn't really care. But because it's more of a work trip and we've got some really nice things planned and I'm going to be making content while I'm out there as well, I want to make sure I've got some nice outfits too. They've also sent us an itinerary and there is some stuff which like completely sent me into like freak out mode. There's an all white party. Turns out I've got nothing white in my wardrobe. I thought I would have but when I looked I have nothing white so I've been trying on white dresses all week in like a blind panic. I haven't even really sorted out yet what I'm wearing so a bit worried about that. I might be the only one not in white. There's also like an afternoon on a boat and I'm not the most confident person when it comes to like being in swimming wear in front of people it's like the one thing I'm really insecure about um I wear swimming costumes because I don't like to get my stomach out or my back out and I just know there's going to be loads of people in like really cute bikinis like bando bikinis people who have small boobs and everyone's gonna look great and I feel massively insecure about swimwear so I've been panic buying so many like beach cover-ups to wear over my swimming costume I'll show you what I bought but very worried about the boat afternoon and the pool party which I'm sure will both be both be really fun but I googled Ibiza pool party and it's not like people jumping in a pool, it's people like standing around pools in high heels and I just don't know how to do that. So terrified of that, but we will see. So I've written my packing list here and now I think I'll show you everything I'm packing as I kind of put it in. Okay, I really hope you guys can see and hear me because you're too far away for me to be able to see you. So I always keep my list close by and refer to that. Um, I've already thrown a few extra things in. I'm just always going to be the sort of person that overpacks and 
I just have to deal with that. I'm going to take a huge case for four days and I want space because we're going to this amazing homeware store as well. So I'm okay with that. It's fine. We've got the luggage allowance and I'd rather have like options when I'm there. So the first thing is underwear and PJs. I've put them in this Eagle Creek um, packing cube, which I just got on Amazon, which is really good. I don't pack everything in packing cubes because I actually think it takes up more space in the case. But things like underwear that kind of get everywhere and I just want them in one place, um, I put them in a packing cube. Although, I'm lying. Underwear, I put something else. In here, I put swimwear and pyjamas. Um, I bought this little PJ set from ASOS which I just thought would be so good because it's going to be hot there so it's got like little spaghetti straps and then it also comes with the little like matching shorts I'll link these down below because these are new from Topshop so I've got my PJs in there and then I've got swimwear and I'll show you the swimwear that I have because if you have slightly bigger boobs and you don't feel great in swimwear like me this might help you out I think M&S have some um, really good ones Marks and Spencers so, so it's got like supportive cups in it it's quite high at the back, it kind of wraps around, it looks good on your tummy. So that's from m and I've also got this one from m and which is like tummy tucking. I find if I wear this all day it does make me feel a bit queasy because it's quite tight. But it looks good, it looks really good on the boobs as well. And this one, because it's just plain, is really easy to wear like beach cover-ups on top without worrying about it clashing. This one is also m and 3 from m and this one's a bit like less supportive I'd say because it hasn't got that kind of tummy tuck thing in it but it's got a really nice trop tropical print. And then I've also got one from Next. I find they do really good swimsuits as well. This is just a polka dot one. It's higher at the front. It is a bit lower on the back, which I don't love, but it's just so cute. I really love the polka dot. And then I'm a bit weird and I also take a normal bikini. Just, I wouldn't wear this by itself, but if I want to wear it under clothes, some outfits, I think bikinis look better underneath. So that's the swimwear that I'm taking. So I put all of these into the packing cube with my PJs and then that's really easy just to grab when I need it. My underwear I've actually put in this string bag, which I, oh, I do know where it's from. It's from a brand called Skyla, but I got sent it with some beauty products. And I thought that was just so like Mamma Mia Ibiza-esque. Um, so it, this doubles up as like a bag and my underwear all in one. So I can kind of shove that down the side because it's underwear. You can kind of squeeze it in. So let's talk outfits. Beach cover-up wise, I've got this dress from Realization Part. I just love the colour of this one. I couldn't wear this just as a dress on its own because I find it really see-through and it really blows up in the wind. But over a swimming costume it's really nice. It's short sleeved and it's long and floaty. I got it in a large because their dresses come up really small. This just always works really well for me on holiday. By the way, I just fold things. I find that rolling clothes takes up more space in the case. I don't understand the rolling theory, I've tried it. Um, but for me, I think laying things quite flat works well for me. I also bought some beach cover-ups from ASOS. I got this one in a black and in a white. It's really nice and loose. If you've got a swimming costume that's like quite nice on your boob area, this is nice because it's a really low, deep V. And then it kind of ruches at the sides and tides either side. And then it's quite short. Like, I'm more than happy to show off my legs. I'm confident when it comes to legs, just not, like, the torso area. So that's kind of perfect for me. Um, and I thought... I wasn't sure if I'd want it in black or white. Like, black looks cooler. Black looks very much like Alex from Love Island. But it's also hotter. And I feel like white is a bit more Ibiza. So I got both because... These are the sort of things I'll wear every year. I don't know about you guys, but I just keep the same summer clothes like every year. So I know that these will last me. So I'm gonna put that in there. Here's the white one, which is literally the same. I'm so glad I found these on ASOS because I was freaking out about the boat day and the beach party. I also found this one, which I just don't need, but I really like it and I wanted to keep it. It's from Sea Folly, I got it on ASOS. And it's much more sheer, it's much more lightweight and see-through. But it's got these little like pom-poms all the way down the side and across the bottom. And I thought that was really cute. And it folds up so small. It's the sort of thing you can throw in your bag, like if you're going to the beach, just in case. So this sort of thing, I kind of, I kind of roll it, but kind of fold it. And I'll just like shove that on top. I've got this really basic white vest top from ASOS, which I thought would be good. We're having like a couple of mornings off, um, free time where I might go to that homeware store. And I thought this and like denim shorts, that's, that's probably my standard like when I'm on holiday, not on a work trip outfit. Oh, I don't know where my denim shorts are. I think they're in the wash because I was wearing them yesterday. So that would go with that. But I've also packed my denim skirt because I thought this would be good 
for daytime or evening. This is kind of an extra, I don't really need it, but just in case item. So this sort of thing I'd probably just lay flat if it takes up less room. And I've also packed a black vest top. This is one from Monkey. This little top as well, when we have like free time or something, or maybe on the boat day, this is from H&M, it's just off the shoulder. It is kind of cropped, but if you wear high-waisted shorts, then your tummy doesn't show. And then I panicked last night. This is where I start overpacking. I panicked last night because I saw some people who were already out in Ibiza and they were out in the evening and they looked really casual and I was worried that my evening outfits were too smart so just in case I packed this like top shop skirt I don't know just in case I see what everyone else is wearing and that might be a better option for the evening these shorts I found in top shop they're by the brand band of gypsies and I thought this would be really good for the afternoon on a boat because depending on how I feel I either want to wear like a swimming costume at the top with these like high-waisted shorts which I just thought were very like Ibiza because of the prim or or and I'll wear um, a big shirt over my swimming costume so this is my and other stories shirt and I thought that would be really cool just like over my swimming costume it's just a striped shirt so those are my two like boat afternoon options we're going to this amazing island I think it's just going to be so gorgeous I can't wait to take loads of photos this top I found at H&M and I thought it was such a good find I really like it it's stripy it's got this big like wide open neck and then the elasticated sleeves and I thought that would look really nice with the denim skirt that's a bit more of like a casual evening outfit or a day outfit depending on how hot it is I'm not really sure okay so evening outfits apart from the white party which I'll show you in a minute what I'm thinking one of the other evenings we're kind of going for dinner and then it's like clubbing if you want so I wasn't really sure how to dress for dinner and clubbing because they're quite different things but I feel like this is definitely a really good choice this is my top shop play suit because it's kind of like a little bit sexy it looks like a blazer but it's a dress it's not too hot so I think that's definitely a really good one for one of the evenings I'm going to just like fold that flat I might take with my portable steamer because some of these clothes are a little bit creasy. And then another evening option is this Alice and Olivia dress, which I'm slightly terrified about taking because it's silk. And if we do go clubbing and someone spills their drink on me, I might actually cry. But it is such a nice dress. So I think I'm going to take that. It travels really well, actually. It doesn't really crease this dress. I'm going to fold that nicely. And then Anna says she's also taking her long Ganny dress. We always speak before we go on trips together. We always like send photos of outfits and kind of decide what we're going to take. So I think I'm going to take my um, long whistles dress just in case because I think this is a really, really nice dress. Still got lots of space in here, so this is good. Okay, when it comes to the white party, I mean, there's no nice white dresses left in the shops. All the summer stuff is gone. It's all autumn now. And I'm really panicking about what to wear for this white party. So my two options at the moment are either this dress from Hush, which I mean, is definitely more of like a daytime beachy dress. I could try and smarten it up with heels, but I don't know. I'm going to take it with anyway. But I think the slightly cooler option would be to wear like trousers and a top. Because I think a lot of people will be wearing dresses and jumpsuits. So I don't mind being like underdressed. These white trousers are from the white company. But I have no white tops that go with it. All my white tops are kind of off-white. And it looks really weird with these like bright white trousers. So I'm going into town today, this afternoon, for, for an appointment. So I'm going to quickly have a look in some shops and see... If I can find a top to go with those. So that's everything when it comes to clothes. I've got a big section here for shoes. By the way, I don't normally put the suitcase on the bed. I find it really gross because the wheels are obviously really dirty. But for the sake of this video, I am. And then I'm going to wash the duvet. The first pair of shoes I'm going to take are these H&M wedges. I think these will be perfect for the evening. I was umming and ahhing about whether to take any like proper heels. But it's just not really me. I think these will do the job. So I've got some wedges. And I'll kind of lay those sideways. And then these are also a really good option. These are my Steve Madden sandals. So they're like strappy. And they've got a little bit of a heel. Really sorry if you can't see things like close up. But as I said, I will show you all my proper outfits in my vlog. These sandals are new from And Other Stories. They've got these like three orange straps. They look amazing. I don't know how comfy they are. They're quite difficult to walk in, but I'm gonna, they're quite small, so I'm just gonna like risk it anyway. Actually, a good tip with these sort of sandals is to put like underwear or socks in there to keep the shape. I might do that. And then I'm also just gonna take my June brown sandals as well, and I'm gonna wear my Birkenstocks on the plane. When it comes to beauty stuff, that is where I pack a lot, and I always have. My mum's the same. I literally don't know how you downsize beauty products and stuff. I think it's because I have difficult hair, but I just find myself 
having so many products to fit into these bags. So I've got a lot of these bags. Um, first one is this from Anya Highmarsh, which I got sent um, by a beauty brand. It says sun creams, it's got a smiley face, and I think this will be so handy when we like go on the boat for an afternoon. We can just put our sun creams and hair products and anything we need. So in here at the moment um, is some sun cream. I've got the Darfan one for body and for face. I need to go buy some more sun cream. I really like the Eucerin one, but it's quite hard to find. And then I've also got this, which is a Mai Moisture Nourish and Moisture Coconut Milk. If I do decide to get my hair wet, which is like a big deal, because then I have to straighten it in the evening, this would be really good to spray on it when I come out of the sea or the swimming pool. I think I might, if everyone else is kind of like jumping in, because now I've had it chemically straightened, it is a bit quicker to straighten in the evening, so I'm going to take that with. So this is quite empty for now, but I'm going to buy some more sun cream. So I'll just like shove these on top. Nars sent us this really nice makeup bag um, for the trip with some cute goodies in it. So I've used this for kind of like my medical kit-ish. I've got like tweezers, spare hair bands, Kirby grips. And then on this side, I've got a little pouch with my jewelry in, I've got tissues, I've got my brace for the evening, I've got my little capsules to clean my brace with, I've got my pill box, which has like my pills that I take every day. I've also got like medicine in case I get my weird bladder thing because I got caught short once on a trip in Stockholm and then got put on the wrong antibiotics and it was the worst thing ever. So I always travel with these now. And I've also just got some like Panadol in there as well. So that's my little kit. And then maybe I'll come a little closer and show you what's in this bag. This is like hair and body. This is skincare. And then this is makeup. I know it seems like a lot, but it's all the stuff I need. Okay, so let me show you what are in these bags. This is such a nice, ooh, big like makeup bag from Chanel. These come when they send press gifts. I don't think you can buy them, unfortunately. So in here is like quite a lot of boring stuff, like my toothpaste. I always take my electric toothbrush with me. I I think once you go electric, you can't go back. It just feels wrong to me. This is just my oral, oral, oral B toothbrush. And I usually put the toothbrush heads in a little mini Ziploc bag, but because I'm not living at home, I don't have any of my normal stuff, so. I'm also taking with my epilator. This is my Silk Epil 9. Oh my God, the amount of times this has gone off in my suitcase. I've got a perfume in here. I'm taking my Centric Molecule, Molecule 01. It's a very good little mini perfume and I love that perfume. I'm taking this L'Oreal um, Magic Retouch Root Spray because I've got so many gray hairs at the moment. And when you're like out in the sun and it's really bright, I just don't want them to be really obvious. So I'm taking that with. Also taking my little Venus Snap Shaver. I do epilate um, most of the time, but sometimes when I'm out in the sun, just getting a few little extra hairs um, using a shaver for me, I just think helps like to top it up a little bit. I've decanted my shampoo and conditioner because I couldn't find any mini size of a sulfate free shampoo and conditioner. So I've just put my own into a bottle. My Way Smooth Spray, I can't be without this. If I do end up washing my hair, then I need this to put on for like a heat protector and stop it going frizzy. And there's like no point decanting that, there's not much left. A Lee Stafford Anti-Humidity Spray for when I go out in the evening. I'm telling you, this is all hair stuff. My Mitchum Deodorant. They really need to make a mini of the roll-on, that would be amazing. My Travel Wet Brush, this one's really good because it folds out and then you just push it like that so it's smaller than the original. I use that on wet hair and dry. In this pot is a tiny amount, oh my god, it literally looks like it's evaporated. There's a tiny amount of my um, IGK Coconut Oil Gel, which after I shave my hair I need to put on the end, otherwise it'll just frizz up. And then I've also got a travel size of the Ameliorate Body Exfoliator and Body Lotion. I'm tanning before I go so I have to take an exfoliator with just in case it goes patchy and a body lotion is really nice before I go out in the evening just to make my skin look really moisturized so that's everything in there okay now in here is my skincare this makeup bag is from cult beauty it's to celebrate 10 years of cult beauty it's a really good size bag and obviously because it's like wipeable anything does explode it's not the end of the world so right on the top here is my travel mirror I always take this with me because you you never know in hotels like if they're gonna have a good mirror that's in a good spot with good lighting. So this one is from Muji and it just folds back and it means that I will always have a mirror. So in here is mainly skincare. I've got two Liz Earl uh, muslin cloths and then I've got cotton wool pads and I've literally counted out how many I need because I use 
two in the evening, one in the morning. So I've got my whole skincare routine really. Bioderma I use in the mornings. Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover in the evenings. And then I've decanted my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm into a little pot. I've got two mini SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier Serums. These samples aren't for sale, sadly, but the PR sent them to me and they're so good for traveling. And then I've taken a couple of um, Dr. Jart Ceramidin, again, sample sizes of the moisturizer. Those are really handy. Um, my La Roche-Posay eye cream. And then also the Isle of Paradise light tanning drops. I'm gonna tan before I go, but if it needs topping up, these are really good because you can put them into your face moisturizer or your body moisturizer. So that'd be handy. And then my Glossier SPF, um, 35. I use sun cream on my body, but this will be fine like underneath my makeup. Right, let me talk you through my makeup, which is in this Space NK travel bag. This is a really, really handy bag. It's only £25 compared to the Anya Homosh one. It's such a bargain and it's just, it looks amazing. I could have so many. This is what I like find the hardest to get rid of. I hoard makeup bags. I love them. So it opens up at the top like this, it opens really wide so you can see all your makeup. I'm just going to show you what's in here as I grab it. I'm just taking one lipstick. I still haven't had the guts to like wear lipstick regularly yet. My lips have been amazing, but I'm just scared they're gonna go back. But I think this Laura Mercier Spice Rose one tends to be okay with my lips, so I'm gonna take that. I've got some travel makeup brushes, like this one from Real Techniques, a couple from RMK, and then in this little Glossier case that came with one of their brushes, I've got like three eyeshadow brushes and another like mini Real Techniques brush. So quite a few brushes, but all mini size. So I just find it in the past when I take like bad tools with me there's no point taking nice makeup because none of it works i've got a mini smashbox primerizer how cute is that and then i've got two foundations the it cosmetic cc cream which i'll probably wear during the day and sometimes in the evening but i've also taken with my nars natural radiant longwear foundation which i really like for a kind of medium coverage and i'll probably wear that if we're going out in the evening i've packed quite a lot of nars makeup mainly because I always get FOMO, like we don't have to at all, they're more than happy with us talking about any other brands, but whenever I'm on trip with a brand, we end up talking about their products a lot and then I just think, oh my God, I love that, I wish I'd bought that product with me and so I've bought a lot knowing that I'm gonna wanna use them. So I have got the NARS concealer with me, which is one of my faves, um, but also my Bare Minerals concealer. I like using these together. I'll probably just use the Bare Minerals during the day, but the um, NARS one in the evening. For bronzer, I've bought two because I like using a cream bronzer during the day. This one's the YSL Saharian bronzer. And this one is the Chanel Le Beige bronzer, which I've just used so much of this, but I love this for a bit more of like a heavy bronze in the evening. For blusher, my beloved NARS Deep Throat, which is the perfect peachy pink, terrible name, but gorgeous color. And highlight also from NARS, um, the Fort de France highlight, which is a beautiful highlighting powder. I've got for my brows, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and my Hourglass Brow Gel. I probably need to buy another one of these, really like it. For eyeshadow, I've got three. One is the Chanel Stilo Ombre Contour in shade 12. This is a really gorgeous like matte brown eyeshadow pencil. So you kind of just like color in your lid and it's so easy and it's a really gorgeous color. That's new from them and I really like it. Also MAC Uninterrupted, which I bought with Anna and I, I love this. I think I've worn this like every day since I bought it. It's a really nice like yellowy brown eyeshadow. And then this one I just added in last minute, but I thought it might be nice for the evening. Maybe just tapped on top of that MAC eyeshadow. It's the Chanel Cream Eyeshadow in Undertone. It's just like kind of shimmery and I just feel like if you press it on with your fingers on top of brown eyeshadow, adds a little something something. Two eyeliners, both from NARS. One is just like a really simple brown. Um, this is in the color Via Appia. Really nice bronzy brown. Then this one, I recently bought this actually. This is called Abbey Road and it's a really pretty blue. And I thought, you know, maybe by the pool or when we go out on a boat, putting a little bit of blue eyeliner under my eye would look really nice. Two more products, the NARS Lid Primer, Eyelid Primer, because, well now it's cooler, it's much better, but when it was really hot, eyeshadow just would not stay on my eyelids. And I've never suffered from that before. I don't get greasy eyelids. Um, so I was really shocked that my eyeshadow was creasing. So I thought I'll take that with in case it's really hot there. And a new mascara that I've been trying, the Smashbox Super Fan fanned out mascara. This is actually a really nice mascara, I'm loving it. I might take with a waterproof mascara, but then I also have a feeling that the NARS launch might be a mascara, and then that would be really handy if they give us a mascara. That's all of my makeup. It's not too much, is it? Also gonna chuck my straighteners in there. 
And then when it comes to bags, I'm going to take my Chanel handbag, which I'm going to put into the straw bag. I think the straw bag I will use like every day. And I think the Chanel one I'll use in the evening. So I'll just lie that flat. And then I think I'm going to use this one to travel in because I can fit my laptop in it. I'm not going to show you guys my um, hand luggage because I always do that last minute, especially if it's a short flight. It's only two and a half hours to Ibiza. So it's pretty much just going to be the contents of my handbag with sunglasses and then my laptop and headphones thrown in as well. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, next week's video will be an Ibiza vlog. It'll either be an Ibiza vlog or a what I wore in Ibiza. Let me know which one you'd prefer or a mix of both. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also go and check out my blog because there's been a few new posts recently that I think you guys would like. So I'll put the link for my blog down below. It's just lilypebbles.co.uk. Thanks guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.